welcome to test tube a place where we can share our knowledge through short videos even you can contribute to us by making a small video of any problem that you face in your life and how you have solved it the video can be as short and as simple as possible and you upload it in your google drive and send that share that link to us through that email that is shown over in this video this way we can build a rich library having solution to any problem that anybody could possibly face in their life and they can find a solution over here in this comments place and by the way the video will be uploaded with your name on it so that you can have all the great for us thank you what is rest assured so you would have heard this term and different people call it from different perspective some people uh, call it as rest assured framework and some people call it as rest assured capability so what is rest assured so rest assured is nothing but uh, a java library which is created uh, so that you know you can test the restful apis so like many java libraries this is also one of the libraries for example you know uh, our famous test ng framework so test ng framework mm, is full of libraries uh, that are bringing up new capabilities and giving a style or life to f uh, the work which you are doing and that how it became a test ng framework similarly uh, rest i mean the rest assured is a library which is rich of many methods and classes which can be used to maintain the test for restful apis so that's what rest assured is all, all about and so you have to add those jar files so that you will get mm, access to the methods the methods which will run the apis which will uh, modify the content of the api which will uh, be used for asserting the api results and do many things with the restful apis so that's what rest assured is and now let us see how to make a maven project and uh, how do we use this rest assured capabilities this is eclipse ide now we are going to see how do we create a maven project to test the apis using rest assured capabilities so you have to go to the file and select new under new select other and it will take you to place where you can select different kinds of projects the ruby project or a java project or gradle related modules or jma project anything now we want to create a maven project so we'll click on next it will ask you where to store the workspace i chose default for now and let me click on next it is asking for the group id and the artifact ids so these are uh, maven terms you can get familiar with so now i am naming it as regression is my group id the artifact is rest api test domain so i try to give a space over here it's not accepting so you don't you don't you shouldn't give any space so now our package is going to be this way regression dot rest api testing similar to the package name package style in java so create finish so rest api testing is going to be <coughs> my project name these are the modules which is main java and test java test java is the place where i write my test cases main java is the place where i can write utilities 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 in the sense the reusables if i wanted to reuse many parts of my test cases and many other stuffs which you wanted to maintain it over here if it is related to um, any other thing that fits in your framework 
uh, we'll see that la in later sessions for now we'll see how to install uh, the setup so now i have created a maven project uh, there is a default class which is available but i am going to create my own class so it is asking for class name <coughs> let me give the class name as api testing you can see api testing is over here <coughs> now you can write the methods for your test cases get user and context and you can write your code inside it so since this project is related to api testing now we wanted to write something about apis this method is get user method like the name suggests we are going to write something about uh, running the get users request so that is how the code is going to be uh, and we are talking about doing it using the rest assured capabilities the hard core of the rest assured capability is this class which is called as rest assured so as you see if i type something and i try to search for some methods i'm not able to get anything and it is throwing me a different kind of errors that <coughs> okay what is this is what eclipse is asking me that is it a, is it a constant or local variable or what it is but it is none of them but uh, i'm not getting any meaning to it and that is all because we don't have rest assured capabilities now to use for this project so how do we get rest assured capability is by adding those jar files in this libraries so there are two ways to do it one is hard way hard way and the other one is easy way the easy way is the maven way since we are in maven project let's use the maven uh, capabilities um, which are famous that are adding dependencies to pom xml file and get the libraries which you want to have access to so we will do that before we do that um, you can define uh, the different methods which you wanted to test and you can write a java style code uh, which is a main method wherein you can call those methods to run those test cases which is very very traditional way and also you can do this in the recent ways which is by using test ng framework so i can name it as test uh, using the test annotation so that it can be called as test i can write another test uh, and i can call it as post user and write i can write some code in it related to post api which is rest api but you, you see test is not recognized yet uh, that is because test ng jar files are not over here available so you can add a test ng library to your project see you can see test ng library is added and now this keyword will make a sense So you have added the libraries, but you haven't imported the package which are related to annotations. So I have imported it now. Now I don't have those compilation errors. See, so one problem is solved. Now we have to have rest assured dependencies. So this is the pom.xml where you can add dependencies. And when you add dependencies, Maven will does everything else for you which is importing the related jar files for that particular capability now okay this is okay this is already there how do you find the dependencies is 
just go to google and type rest rest assured maven dependencies click on this one this is the first one which you wanted to select you can see there are different versions available you can select the most recent and most used one which is having 183 usages 4.3.0 and this is the dependency you copy the dependency and add it over here click on save you can see it is building and it has built the dependencies you can go to maven dependencies and check over here you can see rest assured related jar files are added over here and this is rest assured related this is also rest assured related so likewise you will see uh, many rest assured all rest assured delete related jar files are added over here if it is a normal java project you have to add all of them manually and you should be knowing them uh, you may miss one of the jar files at some times and you will face compilation error at the time when you wanted to run the rest assured code and again you have to import another jar file so that's the traditional way so if you know all the jar files exactly you can do it if you don't know the easiest way is uh, to create a maven project and add the dependencies in pom.xml file so i have done this way now let's go to the test and see uh, by typing that word rest assured and click on dot see now you see there are a long list of methods uh, for which you have access to you can access base uri where you can give the base uri you can um, uh, you have access to delete request you can access you, you have access to get uri method which will which will be uh, the get api uh, you will have access to headers methods which will be used to define the headers for an api you have access to patch request you have access to post request so you have access to all the methods which are for rest assured so now this is also going to work um, so that's all for this in this video in my next videos we will discuss about how do we run sample get post put patch request and how do we build the proper going forward and few more advanced uh, activities like getting the information from excel sheets and doing assertions and everything else whatnot so that's all for this in this video and if you like my video please subscribe to my channel so that you know it will be motivating for me and also if you have any problem solving videos let it be technical like this or any problem that you have faced in your life uh, please make a video out of it and upload it in your google drive and send me that link to my email id i have shown it in this video thanks once again to all of you